Hello, hello, Sharon here and welcome back to my channel. Now using an online calendar such as Google Calendar in your business is all well and good if it works for you and not against you. So here are three quick tips to help you use Google Calendar more effectively. Tip number one. Now we all have tasks, events or meetings that happen on a recurring basis, whether that's a weekly team meeting, a monthly client call or just time blocked off to catch up with your emails. So make sure you set these as recurring events, not only to save time, but also just in case you simply forget to add it in one week. So let's say we want to create a weekly client call at 2 p.m. every Monday. So you can double click into the day and time that you want to, where you want to create the event, or you can use the keyboard shortcut C to create a new event. So now we enter the details, we set the time, and then to set the recurring event, we then click on the drop down arrow next to where it says doesn't repeat here. And you have all these options available, or you can click on custom. So in here, you can change the frequency of the repeat event, and you can also set to end the event on a particular date or after a certain number of occurrences. Once you're happy with everything in there, click done, but we don't want that in this one. We're just going to say repeat weekly on a Monday. And once you're happy with all the details, click save. So there's the event I've just created and you can go through to any month and the week and you can see this event has been set up to repeat on a weekly basis at, on a Monday. Now, anytime you want to go to make a change to, to the event, double click into the event and let's say we want to change it to 45 minutes. And once you press save, it will ask if you just want to change this particular event or if you want to change it for the rest of the events in this particular series as well. So moving on to tip number two, which is all about color blocking your events. So giving your events different colors is a good way of seeing what you've got scheduled in your calendar at a quick glance. So when you're creating your event, let's just do one here and we'll just call it this testing. So the color section is next to the calendar name here, just underneath the notification section. So you just click on the drop down arrow and choose a color that you'd like and then click save and you can see it's here. Let's move that down to there. Now to quickly change the color of any event, you can double click into here and go through the same process of changing the color and clicking save or an even quicker way of doing it is to just right click on the event and it will give you the option of deleting the event or you can change the colors here. Job done. So my final tip is for when you want to quickly bring up details of a past event but you can't remember much about it. So instead of looking back through week by week trying to find the event and wasting time, just use the search function instead. So you find this by clicking on the magnifying glass in the top right corner here, and this will bring up the search bar and then click in the, in the arrow on the right of this to bring up more options. So now you can filter your search by adding in keywords, names, locations, and the date ranges to make it easier and quicker to find past events. Once you've put in the information, click search and it will list all the events meeting the criteria that you've set. To get back to your calendar, click the back arrow next to the search in the top left corner. Now, not many people I know realize there's actually a search function there. So put a magnifying glass emoji in the comments below if you know about it and have used it before. And I'm gonna leave you with a quick bonus tip, which is to make sure you go through your default settings as this is one sure way of saving time in the long run. For example, if you're constantly changing the length of your events, then you can set the default length in your settings. Or if you have no need to see the weekends in your calendar, again, you can change this in your settings. So press S to go into your settings and go down each of these sections in turn and make the necessary changes. So if you were wondering about changing the length of events, you'll find this under event settings and you've got a default duration here of 60 minutes. So you can just go in and change it to 30 if you wanted to. And if you wanted to hide the weekends, this is in the view options and you can just untick show weekends. As with any app or software, I always recommend going through the default settings. You might be surprised at just what you can change. It's the same in Gmail and I suggest you watch this video next to see which settings I think you should know about and use in your Gmail account. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.